Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dave from Dave Craves Raw Food. And today I'm going to share with you guys my iridology reading that I got from Robert Morris when I went to the International School of Detoxification to get certified as a regenerative detoxification specialist. They were offering um, eye readings when they went there and I thought, man, what a good opportunity to get one of the people that I believe is um, the best at reading them. He has a lot of different insights than other people who do iridology. Um, give me a full lowdown on what he sees in my eyes and um, then I can really focus on um, what herbs I should be taking and uh, you know what to expect when I'm detoxing. So if you guys don't know what iridology is, it's uh, where you can get a picture of your eye and then there are nerve endings that show up from your whole body in your eye. So your eye is uh, pretty much connected to your whole nervous system. So what happens is a lot of the weaknesses and strengths that you have are very, very visible in your eye if you know how to read it correctly. Um, it came with this big packet um, here and I'm gonna be putting up videos or pictures on the screen of all this. So I've had a lot of history of uh, certain things, I guess I'll, I'll say that quick, certain things like depression, um, having uh, acne on my skin, and a lot of the raw food and fruit diets that I've been eating have been really helping with that. But um, just to give you guys something, um, if you've been following me for a while or if you haven't, um, I do have, um, I have been struggling with a lot of more emotional problems on my physical body. Um, I would say it's pretty healthy. I don't really have anything. Um, I don't get sick. I don't have anything worried. Worrisome there. I don't really get colds or flus or anything like that regularly. But um, there has been a lot of resistance in my energy levels being consistent and then also my um, mental state being consistent. So let's see if this reading can kind of shed some light onto what may be going on there. So um, there's different stages, I guess I'll say this, there's different stages of the body's uh, health, I guess you could say. So there's an acute, acute stage, there's subacute, and there's chronic. So once you get to a chronic state, that means you're completely backed up um, and you're completely congested cellularly and uh, you need to get that fixed. Um, so I'll just show this to you if you guys can read it. So here's this uh, acute, uh, you can see the, the color of the eyes there. Um, the blue eye is uh, more green and then the brown eye is more true brown and then we have the subacute and chronic as you can see the blue eye there turned um, even darker brown and um, then on the chronic you can see the blue eye is completely brown and then degenerative stage the eyes are completely dark especially that blue eye there so I'm going to show pictures now of my left eye. And my right eye. And so as you can see, I have a lot of orange in my eyes. So what does orange mean? Um, in the study of iridology, orange usually is uh, associated with sulfur. And a lot of the drugs that we take as we grow up, antibiotics, and um, pharmaceutical drugs in general um, are sulfur based um, well they're also petroleum based but they're also sulfur based and um, that can get stuck in your lymphatic system especially if your kidneys aren't filtering and we're just eating all the wrong foods all the time so my neural optic analysis so he marked down blue and brown he says I think you have blue eyes can see blue under the nerve rings so let's take a look at that eye again and especially on the right eye, you can see this uh, a lot a lot easier. But you can see on the left-hand side of my right eye, it's very like light blue-green. Um, and you see my nerve ring right there. So definitely should have blue eyes. And this was very hard to take in because I kind of knew it um, looking at my eyes. I had an eye picture done before that I took myself. And I could kind of see, um, I think I have blue eyes. But as you know... Um, they're brown because of the sulfur and my lymphatic system being backed up. So um, he circled there that they were green, brown, chronic. And then that my brown eyes, eyes are darker brown. So um, he thinks that I have blue eyes. If not, then um, I do have brown, but I just don't see it. Uh, let me know down if you think I have blue eyes. I do think I have blue eyes. And then my pupils were all normal. My constitution is medium. Now this is actually really good. You can read what's on the screen now, but um, 
not really good obviously strong would be better but having a medium constitution means that even though i am pretty chronically lymphatically backed up that i'm not going to experience as many healing crises as i may experience if i had a, a really poor constitution and also it will not take me as long to detox because my my constitution or the way that my body can heal itself isn't the worst that it could be um, he did mark down sulfur like I imagined him to do and then um, I do have an upper body starting uh, cholesterol ring starting it's light right now and some in my uh, lower body he wrote stop now so whatever I'm doing I gotta stop now and detox next we're gonna look at the digestive system analysis so with the digestive system analysis um, I've talked about it before we have four processes of the body we have digestion absorption utilization and elimination and all of these have to be um, working tip top for us to be able to um, have everything that we need out of the food and get rid of everything that we don't and so we can see here that my stomach is uh, lymphatically chronic and cellularly um, it's subacute some chronic and it is genetic so I have a lot of uh, cellular genetic weakness as you'll see as we go through this here and um, that is just from the hand that I was dealt. You know, the cards that I got were um, a little bit old, uh, broken, and um, doesn't mean we can't fix it though. My gallbladder is uh, subacute and heavy. My liver, he did mark down because I need to clean my liver and my pancreas. Um, this is interesting because I grew up drinking a lot and um, partying a lot, and the liver just does not like that. And this is also on top of a genetic weakness that I had, as you see, he marked off genetics as well. So definitely focusing on the liver as I go on my health journey here. Um, let's look at the digestive system, the absorption part of it. So my small intestine is chronic. This is actually just really funny to me because it's like, oh, no wonder like I uh, had, uh, I couldn't uh, put on weight for a long time and um, it wasn't until like my juice cleanse that I really started feeling like, oh wow, I'm actually getting satisfied from a normal amount of food. Like, you know, I still eat a lot, um, but let's say, you know, I would eat like 10 bananas and still feel hungry. So I knew something wasn't right, and uh, this is just showing me. Um, also, it says there that my small intestine is genetic and it is ballooned, exclamation point, and I have sulfur in there, so you know, and then I have moderate mal malabsorption, which I actually am interested in that because it would have been extreme uh, if I got this taken before I started eating vegan and raw food. I, I guarantee it would have been extreme. The amount of, uh, you know, Taco Bell I could eat at one time was just ridiculous. And then I'd be hungry 10 minutes later. So let's look at my endocrine system. So the endocrine system is all the glands that produce hormones in the body. And they kind of make sure that everything in your body is working right. Most of this is genetic, as you can see. Um, my adrenals are chronic, which I already knew. I did take a lot of Adderall and stimulants at one point in my life from age probably 18 to 22. Um, I was doing it, you know, there were times where it'd be months at a time where I would be on it, you know, almost every day. Um, just burning it out, drinking a lot of coffee, Red Bulls, that kind of thing. So I kind of came into this knowing that my adrenals were down. Not only that, most people's adrenals are down um, these days. And it's just because like we're getting weaker and weaker as a species because um, we're just passing on these bad genetics. As you can see, I got bad genetics. And one thing I do wanna mention, a lot of people say like I look pretty healthy, I look young for my age. And that's something we need to remember guys that it's not always, um, the outside appearance does not reflect the inside appearance very much and a lot of times the people who are the most beautiful actually have the most problems um, and you would know that because the skin isn't eliminating anymore so they have perfect skin but um, a lot of stuff in the body is getting backed up and so we're gonna go down to the pituitary it's heavy subacute a genetic and mostly chronic at my cellular level pineal gland I have had trouble sleeping in the past um, I stopped smoking weed and then it was really hard to sleep now I kind of balance that out but I do have some nights where it is hard to sleep the pineal gland as uh, our spiritual gland you might say it's our third eye but not only that oh and um, the water that uh, is mainstream water that I drank growing up as a kid has a lot of chlorine and fluoride and that will calcify the pineal gland so it doesn't work right and so um, 
it has a lot to do with our sleeping pattern. So people with insomnia definitely, definitely need to work on their uh, pineal gland. Um, we're going down to the thyroid, so I definitely have um, some genetic and heavy stagnation in my thyroid, and it is mostly chron chronic. I always laugh because it's just like, man, here we go. We got a lot of work to do, guys. Um, we have my parathyroid, um, which I have been dealing with depression, so of course it is um, mostly chronic, and my mom had manic depression and things like that, so it's uh, real important uh, for me to focus on my parathyroid gland because of the mental illness uh, that was passed down to me. Um, I don't believe that it's something that I have, a disease that I have, obviously, because diseases are uh, not real. They're made up illusion. It's just uh, acidosis in the body, and things just aren't working right when you have a disease. So down to the eliminative system analysis, um, he circled all, so everything um, I need to work on. My, uh, it's somewhat spastic and ballooned, uh, possibly pocketed, prolapsed, which a lot of people have, especially eating a lot of junk food and fast food growing up in so much amounts of it my my body just wasn't handling it um, and he said I have heavy uh, limb stagnation and that's why the sulfur is in there so um, one thing I want to mention guys I did a 40-day juice cleanse and a lot of people may I hate to say mainstream people but mainstream people they'll be like oh my gosh that's too long like you're gonna get sick or now aren't you cleaned out enough you did 40 days but it's like obviously we got problems man as a species and uh, we got these uh, genetic weaknesses and he said 85% of my problems there are genetic and that just uh, goes to show that um, you might be doing some things that you think are the be all end all like oh once I do a 40 day juice cleanse I'll be cleaned out and I'll be good and it's like you know maybe if you have a strong constitution you can get something done in about a year but as you can see I've been eating pretty healthy um, and been doing fasting and cleansing and I still have these problems and um, it's just some something that we need to take seriously and we can't just um, think that things are going to be quick uh, quick fixed quickly because it's just not not like that so my kidneys here um, you can see that uh, they're mostly chronic and that I need to filter now the interesting thing is that I did get my kidneys filtering on my juice class juice cleanse but I don't think they're filtering anymore. I checked my urine the other day. There's a tiny little bit of clouds in there, but um, I'm going to be hitting it hard on the detox. detox. Man, I can't talk today. Detox, uh, taking you guys along with the journey. Um, and I'll talk about that more after we get done with this. But my skin is also heavy, some acute and genetic cellular weakness, um, some chronic in there. Um, we're going down to the, the appendix. And right here, he said that it was my mom and lifestyle put together that is why my lymphatic system is so backed up and uh, it just goes to show um, you know the way that we've been living as a you know Western society and even even more nowadays everyone's eating processed food and meat and dairy it's just really um, uh, clogging up our lymphatic system so we definitely need to take responsibility for what we're eating how we're thinking everything like that and we have to detox our bodies so we do not keep degenerating as um, a species because we don't want kids to be born with um, cancer and all these you know names but it's just we don't want our babies to be born acidic and that's what's happening and people are just not changing their ways and if we want to save ourselves and the planet we have to save humans and I love saving the animals but guys we need to work on our our bodies and we need to take this seriously and we need to detox because we want to build super babies we want to build a world where people have better thoughts and when you're clogged up lymphatically you're not going to be thinking very clear very clearly maybe that's why I can't talk um, and then you can see my spleen is a subacute and now we're going to the circulatory system um, my lower body is uh, almost good and I think that is because um, I do I have been a runner for a long time and I do get a lot of blood flow in there um, my upper body so I have a cholesterol acidosis as you can see and some on my lower body but my heart is also weak and this is uh, very much due to I think the stimulation the stimulants that I took I need to strengthen up my heart a lot my nervous system I already knew was going to be chronic because of the way that my brain is um, and he says that my central uh, nervous system, I need to detox, and it's 50% uh, lymph stagnation in my head. So I feel like um, I'm not losing my hair, but my uh, hairline has always been this uh, 
uh, what a widow's peak thing. I've always had this since I was a kid, but just recently in the past year or so, I saw that it was getting a little bit thinner, like right here and right here. And yes, I have my hair back. I try to own it. You know, it is what it is. I've always had a bigger forehead, but um, recently I noticed that I was starting to kind of thin up there. And um, the reason why this happens when people lose their hair is because we have lymph stagnation up in our brain area and the blood can't flow up into the hair follicles. Not only that, um, having a weak parathyroid means that I have um, bad or poor uh, calcium utilization. And what that'll do is uh, make you have uh, thinning hair, brittle nails, and uh, bones, and that is just not good. So coupled with the parathyroid is why I feel like I was losing. It just goes back a little bit farther than before. You guys can obviously see that. And um, you know, the cool thing is, is that I know how to fix it. And we're gonna be detoxing hard, guys. So uh, this, is, uh, this is a path we have to take. We want cellular regeneration. We got my respiratory system. So growing up, I had a lot of uh, lung issues i had bronchitis about every year strep throat so um, that's all just tied into the respiratory and as you can see here everything is chronic um, and genetic pretty much and um, yeah my lungs and also smoking i didn't smoke cigarettes but smoking weed every day for nine years definitely didn't uh, help so my skeletal system again because of my parathyroid um, this needs work as he wrote down in the bottom all genetic again I was passed down this weak parathyroid uh, the depression issues manic depression so obviously my um, my uh, issues are going to be in the skeletal system as well so the overview of all of this you can see this is um, according to your personal iris analysis the following areas of your body needs attention and literally everything except for my vagina because I don't have one but uh, and uh, he just says detox in the reproductive system and then my thymus he didn't he didn't check and my spleen so you know everything else um, and he underlined my parathyroid mostly and a little bit of my thyroid but I know that my parathyroid and then down at the skeletal bone and skeletal system he did underline the parathyroid so as I said before something I need to work on uh, my right ear is chronic and my left ear is less but um, I need to do uh, some ear candles to try to get some of the uh, head lymphatic stagnation out of my head um, so maybe I can think a little bit more clearly and I've always thought man I have so much potential um, I feel like I'm smart but there's certain days it's like man I just I can't put thoughts together in the best way and um, yeah it's just uh, I just want to become a better communicator as well and I know once I get some of this uh, stagnation out of my head I'm just gonna be able to flow and think a lot more clearly and uh, my throat needs uh, other my, the other weakness is my throat and um, I obviously knew that because I had sore throats growing up and I knew I had a weakness in my throat so he wants me to ear candle and then the additional comments um, thank you of course thank you Robert Morse um, Need uh, to make health my passion. Luckily, it's what I do already. Um, and much work ahead, I know. Thank you very much, I know that. And I need blue eyes. So he says I need blue eyes. So that's a wrap, guys. That was my uh, iris analysis from Robert Morse. I'm gonna try not make this video any longer, but I hope you guys got something out of it. I think it's really beneficial to learn this kind of stuff. And um, see, actually, a reading that Robert Morris said, you maybe watch all of his videos, but you never saw him break anything down quite like this. And I don't think there's a, any video like this on, sorry, I'm shaking the camera, any video like this on the internet right now for him an, an, uh, analyzing eyes. So yeah, share this video with people if you wanna see, show the in-depth uh, iris analysis. I think it's really cool and then it can maybe give you guys a look if your eyes look similar to mine maybe some of the things that have been going on i love you guys thanks for watching uh subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and um i'll see you guys soon